Yeah, there are few things in this world that make me a giggling child That take me to a simple time when things weren't quite as wild One of those very special things that does it every time Is a donut and a glass of milk and makes me feel so fine Everybody loves donuts Watches Ryan tries to, tries to pick up someone. No. Yeah. Um, Squeeze it. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Do you want to <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's our food. We're guessing. Whatever. Is it meat? No, or? I don't know. Uh, that like makes it even worse. Yeah, okay, yeah. reveal, reveal. I need to know now. You guys might think it's gross. I, I kind of don't want to show you that. What, how, well, if you're going to eat it, then I don't see it. Anymore. If you're going to eat it, then it can't be that bad. We've probably discussed worse. I eat worse. some weird things. <laughs> what is it? Shark meat? Okay, that's not bad. Wait, if you're vegetarian, why are you eating something with cheese? That's vegan. Isn't it the same no, thing? No, vegan is you can't eat any products from animals. Vegetarian that's animal no fat. Meat. That's all cheese is. But that's not eating the animal. You don't Jesus have to. That's fat? the point yeah. of not like eating no, animals. No, 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 no. Yeah, because like vegetarians indirectly eat animals. <coughs> Vegans do not yeah, like, eat animals. Period. Like I eat eggs. That's not technically eating. Then the what's animal. the point of being vegetarian? Not eating bacon. That's the only purpose. <laughs> then you just don't eat bacon. I get that. Bacon has a lot of um, what's it called fats. Saturated. Saturated fats. And it and has nitrates. Fat. And it has nitrates, which are known to cause cancer. Yes. What about turkey milk? bacon? <laughs> There's no <laughs> point on it, in it, quite honestly. No, but I mean, I look at it like this. I don't think eating cheese or drinking milk is going against a vegetarian, because going against, being a vegetarian is not eating meat. Cheese is not meat. Eating meat, eating meat is killing an animal. That's okay, the point. So me, you don't injure a cow if you get its milk. You know? To me, a vegetarian is someone who eats plants. It has nothing to do with the meat part, it's that you only eat plants. Um, no. I just don't eat meat. Okay, then that's not vegetarian. That's something else. What is it then? A vegetarian is someone who only so you're eats getting plants. Liberal. You're getting too liberal. Getting too political. It's food. This isn't political. <laughs> How about this? I don't eat meat. There you oh, go. Okay. All right. My mom makes makes me fish sometimes. So no red meat. Pescatarian. No, I don't eat chicken either. How do you live? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, I think I'm going through a phase. I'll get out of it. Isn't Paulina a vegetarian, or didn't she try to be here for a while? Or, um, Paulina? Yeah. She's like the fattest girl. Is this another miscellaneous day? Heck no. no uh, are you recording? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, an episode without an introduction. Welcome. I'm Will. I'm Ryan. I'm Marcus. And this is Divine. Uh, I guess for the day. Fortunately, we have someone new. Uh, I think the gods for a podcast here, just talking about random stuff. I'm sorry, Frankie. <laughs> Oh, okay. I have to no. tell you this. <laughs> you annoy me sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Actually, why don't we make that our topic? Annoying people. Frankie. You guys are mean. Dude, like... Okay. I, I, I have to say okay, something. Okay, I can't just sit here and accept um, this I, I, every per, day. Personally, I, I think... Uh, How's your day going? Like, are you just going to get off topic over there? I mean, you, get, you're, you're going on something, so... Okay, so... The way I think that annoying people work, I think there's three types of annoying people. There's smart asses, dumb asses, and assholes. And everyone that's annoying can be classified in those three. Well, I'd rather be a smart ass than a dumb ass. I, I'm more of a smart Well, smart asses and dumb asses are also assholes, if that makes sense. This sounds like that one scene from Team America where that bum is describing assholes, dicks, and pussies. So like the main character in the bar. <laughs> I was just watching that this weekend too. And then if you're not careful, then you'll get shit all over your dicks and pussies. Oh Jesus. Just throw those over there. Anyway. Okay. Um, Taking calculus. Okay, so I know I'm a smart ass. What's what's Marcus? When I had Lopez sign the paper. Marcus is a smart ass too. He's a smart what are you? I'm a smart ass. Oh, hell yeah, I'm a smart ass. What's she? 
She's none of those. Divine is a beautiful human being who does nothing to nobody. I think like everyone's asshole. a little... Okay, an asshole. <laughs> everyone's a little bit of everything. Uh, f He's a weird mix of a smart ass and a dumb ass. Because he acts like a smart ass, but he is a dumb ass. Exactly. I'll be that honest. Like, I'll be yeah. honest, though. He actually gives some good insight. If he was like that all the time, it'd be fine. But because he's just a generally annoying person, I don't like to be around. These people are loud. You know, I can't stop. His it. worst isn't worth him at his best. Or, his best isn't worth him at his worst. Yeah, best, that makes worst. Sense. We, we get it. That's okay, all right. Good. Yeah, don't it. crackle that in the microphone. What? You're I crackling that in the microphone. I was about to, like, freaking take this to the head. <laughs> yeah, we have to go in. Okay. No, we just sit and talk, and it goes in front of the cloud. Exactly. It's just, it uploads immediately to the internet. It uploads immediately. No, we have to go incognito because of, you know, Shamu and principles and administrators. I like you guys call him Shamu, but I don't get that. Like, he's... The security, you know, the black security guard, the who rides around on the See bike. The lane? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Shamu. But I, I didn't get it either. I, think it's it, I was so gonna light. say I think they're, I think we could do better than Shamu, but whatever. I think we could, but the name fits. You know who I really hate though? Who? Fucking Bula. Bula? Oh, yeah. Who? Dumb bitch. Who's that? That uh short, the, yeah, the short Mexican lady with the fucking. She's short. She's like, she's the only light-skinned one. I think I know. I think I know. And I hate her because she, she tries to act like she's a cop all the time, and she's the one who had to take me to the office for the whole fucking ordeal. Thing. You went to the office? Mm, what? I've only been to the office twice. I never see her out here at lunch. Like, right? Is she yeah, always she, over yeah, there? Yeah, she's in the front. Oh, okay. The actions act, you know, so she can bust people. She tried to get me for my headphones twice, but I swear, I... I had a problem because they say you're not supposed to have your your iPod out, right? If if you have it out, they can take it. But if I have my headphones in, they're like, "Give me your iPod," and I'm like, "You can only take my headphones because I don't have my iPod out." And they and they can't. So I got in trouble for that like twice. She took me to the office once because she's like, "This fat, da, 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 I tried to take his iPod away from him because he had it out." I'm like, "When did I ever have my iPod out? I had my headphones." Out. Exactly. Why do you, why are you gonna take my iPod? Out, so whatever. And you get Katina, who is like the nicest person oh, yeah. ever. Here's the thing. She, she the, all of the other ones get resistance whenever they try and take someone to like ad admin or something. But Katina, you want to go with her, yeah, you know what I mean? I like, cool. like there's people who get in trouble just to talk to her. You well, know I what I mean? I, I wouldn't go that far. I don't think anybody no, I know a couple of people who do that just to talk to Katina. You know some weird ass people. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, they could just, you know, go outside and talk to Katina. No, there's people like... Um, what's his name? Oh, okay, I know what you mean. Yeah. He doesn't just talk to Katina? Hmm? Yeah, just so she just gets into his classroom. Yeah, just because, like, I, apparently he thinks it makes things interesting, I guess. Oh. Something like that. It's, it's weird. Oh. <laughs> Alright, other people. Who else do we hate? Just because they're annoying. I hate, uh, Miss. Miss. Hey, Patrick. You don't like Miss Hoff, do you? You know, Ms. okay, good. I was gonna say, I have I nothing were... against. I, I, I was in my class for like a day. I have nothing against I her. I can never I just... remember that. It's like you've been gone too long. I, I don't. But yeah, I hate this. <laughs> she's a... There's just something about her personality. She's like, she's like Frankie. She's almost like, but she's the good side of what Frankie is. She's too inviting. She's too nice. She's too friendly. To the point where, like, you know, the class is trying to do their work, and you know, she'll. You know, be walking you know around trying to help people or whatever, <laughs> and then she'll just start telling a story, and the whole class will have to stop working so she can listen. And then when someone's like talking to the side, and she's like, "Hey, why aren't you doing your work? You need to be working." And then she'll start telling a story again, and just like get everybody off track. And she should have died for this. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's, That's pretty bad. bad. You know what? No, it's not because last semester, or not last semester. We know. We know. The whole grade thing? <laughs> yeah, like how the fuck do you take me from an A to a C and then throw away my work so I can't prove that I had the A? But. Was it the sub who was in for her? No! Last year, sophomore year, when Miss Hoff first got diagnosed and everything, and she kept missing days, and she assigned some extra credit, you know, just to fill up time while she was gone. I did the extra credit, I had an A in that class. I turn in, said extra credit, she grades it. Extra credit can't hurt you at all. Yet I went down from an A to a C minus. 
And I said, Ms. Hoff, why did I drop so much? She's like, oh, you did terrible on your extra credit. I was like, apparently, not... she, apparently she doesn't get the point exactly. of how the system works. So I said, you know, well, can you show me what I did wrong? She's like, oh, you missed like half the assignment, so I just gave you an F and dropped your grade. And I was like, for a fact, first off, I know I didn't miss any of them. I did the whole thing, so I wanted those extra points. So I asked her to show me, you know, the assignment to see what I did wrong, and she's like, oh, I don't have it. I threw it away. <laughs> so then I go to tell Lopez, you know, like, hey, you go talk to Hoff because I know you guys know each other. He's like, okay, I'll go talk to her. The very next day when he goes to talk to her, she checks out of campus for the summer. <laughs> that so, sucks. My only C I've ever gotten. Kind of fucking hater. Is that maybe, the worst grade? You, is that the worst grade you've ever gotten? Yeah. A C? Yeah. Holy crap! What about you, Marcus? That, that may be a little harsh. Maybe I don't wish you died, F. but F. You got you failed. What about no, you? No, not even necessarily. Worst grade no you've D. ever. Okay, worst grade you've ever gotten in a class. Mr. Trudel. What'd you get? Last year. Got an F <laughs> you mean like overall <laughs> class, right? No, here's the thing. I was supposed to have an F in that class, but Tuttle has this thing where if he thinks you deserve to pass, he'll pass you. So I should have had an F, and I wound up with a D. That's how Miss Rory was. Do you remember her? The biology teacher, Miss Rory. Big lady, glass guy. I had her freshman year before she got fired for giving everybody good grades. Because she liked me because I like, helped her regulate the class. Yeah. Uh, if, you were, if you were one of her favorites, because I, I failed the final in her class. I had like a C. But I checked my grade at the end of the year and I have like an A minus. And I've got like all these points like out of nowhere. So they found out because there was kids that had good grades it is. that she didn't like, you know, that were like the ones or whatever, and she dropped their grades. No, she was weak. <laughs> it's powerful. Oh, God. It's not weak. She was trying. I like it. Next to make Sam. Then it's so powerful that it is weak. Oh, it's 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 a certain level of power to where you become weak. I just hope these people behind us aren't louder than we are. Because if not, I'm going to bitch slap someone. Yeah, bitch slapping is never fun. Some nice. people like it. Let's, let's get in a BDSM on another day. I don't think we're going to be able to hear half the episode. Yeah, I know, right? We're all talking too low right now. I know. Yeah, okay, go so... Did anybody go to the date auction? What date auction? Yeah, for Key Club. It was pretty cool, actually. You go on Hannah, dates? Like, what was that? Well, it was like all these boys and girls, guys and gals, whatever, went up on stage, and then, like, they auctioned you off, like, starting at $5, and... They paid, and you have to like go on a date with them, like this restaurant they have like set up. I wouldn't so, want to do that. I'm pretty sure that's somewhere near illegal. Prostitution? <laughs> there's no sex involved. Yeah, well, no. Dude, there was yeah, this one no, guy. No, prostitution is cool. Like, totally half Asian, half white guy. Like he went for like two hundred dollars. <laughs> he got like how much? Two hundred. He was the most expensive person. A guy. Yeah. Wow. I'm glad I wouldn't have gone. A guy. A dude. I want to take a shot of my self confidence. I've been like. That's why I'm really glad I didn't go because they were they had almost convinced me to go too. Like Ryan, come on, you'll go for like ten, fifteen dollars. I was like, oh, thanks, but I didn't go. Okay, there is that's wrong on so many levels. It really is. I would be scared that like I go up there and then nobody like looks good and be like, wow, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I should just walk off the stage. No, give your friend some money to buy you, make it seem like it's a big deal. Like fifty dollars. Oh, why? You're beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, just the beggar I think you know, Forever alone, you go for nothing. <laughs> That's what I'm scared about me. I know, right? No, you'd go. You would I was gonna say, yeah, you'd go. He would buy you if nothing else. You didn't even go. Well no, but like, if, if you if I would have found out you were going, I probably would have gone. But. Just to buy you. Marcus would have gone just to freaking make fun of people. <laughs> Cause he's a little asshole like that. Hey. I would have gone, ass. went okay, up on stage, okay. got no bids, and then just started laughing. And just should, and just like start and throwing money at the audience. Away. No, just start throwing money at the audience. Just like bling, bitches. No. So, sort of. Don't you want to bid on? Oh. <laughs> so what's broken? Who did what? Well, they're all Asian. <laughs> <laughs> the entire Asian you know population. You know what they found out? Of... 
It's, it, not, it's, right next it's, to it's it. not Japan that has like ramen on the streets and stuff, it's China. Because when I went to Japan, I was really disappointed. I wanted to like eat ramen like so bad. But there's like no yeah, ramen stands everywhere, like anywhere. So like, like there's just, like there's just, yeah, yeah, like rice and stuff, yeah. There's a like, really big thing about like buying like these cup noodles from China. And like there are people in Japan who buy them. And like you see this and it's like, oh, they must be buying them from someone in Japan. See, the thing is though, like, yeah, like Chinese people, like, they don't, uh, they eat like ramen, like, um, like you know, they make it. But people in Japan love to buy like the cup of noodles because they're just like America. They will buy, they will, they will buy, they will buy pre-made food. Like, did you know it was Japan that invented cup of noodles though? And and, they're, and, they're, yeah, and they did a, they, they did a survey. They asked like Japanese people like in 2008, like, what do you think your country's greatest technological achievement is? And they said cup of noodles. That's it was pretty. Even though it's like one of the most unhealthy things you can ever eat in your entire life. It's basic, you know why they can stay like, you know, you can eat them like whenever and they can like exist for like the end of time. Because they basically take noodles, you know, they put them in that shape and then they fry it with like this oil that has like an insanely high like fat. Like, so it like, it's like McDonald's but in a cellophane package. <laughs> it's McDonald's in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that just reminds me of like when you watch Epic Meal Time and they have like Big Mac sauce in a cup and like they pour it all over. Oh, the like, that was pretty bad. Uh, see, what like, was I have, show? On YouTube, Epic Meal Time. You never watched Epic Meal Time. Okay, these are the biggest group of speaking of annoying people, biggest group of assholes ever. They are Canadians. Like who do Jack a, Kind a of little bit, of, a yeah. little, they're yeah. closer to Jackass. Yeah. Basically, they just like, it's a bunch of dudes that just kind of think of a stupid idea and like... They while have, drinking, yeah, while drinking they drink lots. a shit ton of alcohol and they just make like a big ass like... Either like a meal, like they a bunch of like... They count calories for every meal in the hundreds of thousands. Like they'll, build, like, they'll make a burger that's like this big and like inject it with cheese and like barbecue sauce. And like, I know, like, totally out of the way. On it and like, eat the whole thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> when you go home and you actually search it up and you start watching it on YouTube, you get hungry. Half the, yeah, half the stuff they make, you actually eat. Like, it's not all just disgustingly, like, it's disgustingly it geniusly like, disgusting. It's the greatest thing since, like, the internet. I love this. Goes on. Since the internet? That's a big source. Right? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe. I love it. And here's the thing, the show isn't even that old. It's like a year old Oh yeah, it's, now. It's, yeah it's almost two years. Almost. It's almost September. two years. Yeah. Like they have less than a hundred episodes of But uh, it's a pretty funny show. Sometimes there's like themes to what they do or whatever. Personally, my favorite episode is probably the Valentine's Day one with ice cream. Because the whole time Harley's doing the voiceover, he's like talking in that deep ass romantic voice and it's just fucking stupid. And it's awesome. Love that show. It's a YouTube show. Hmm? It's a YouTube show? Yeah. Yeah, it's on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Epic Meal Time. As long as we're giving out links. Stop talking about our freaking podcast if anybody watches it yet. Hey, I mean, like, that, here's the thing. I know no one is going to like start watching around episode 1 through 10 or 20. But here's but when they like when they're going back in time through the episodes and they're like watching like, hey, it's cool to see how people started. It's, like it's gonna Philip be cool. Show. Yeah, it's gonna be cool to like go back and watch the first episode. Anybody here actually watch the Philip DeFranco show? No. no. Philip DeFranco? Philip DeFranco. Okay, that Philip is my DeFranco. Boot, that is my boot in. Enlighten us. He is a YouTuber who's been out since like 2008. And he just, not necessarily vlogs, but it's like a news show where he only really talks about stuff that interests him, but in his own, you know, little way or whatever, but it's a pretty damn popular channel. He's a... Is he a smart-ass, yeah. dumb-ass, oh, yeah. or asshole? He's a, he's a total smart-ass asshole. But, uh, he's a pretty intelligent guy. Has some interesting insights on certain things. I watch it because I don't read the news anymore because it's just too depressing and too fucking right wing so He gives another side of it that I kind of like. Okay. Um, speaking of annoying people on Plus YouTube, PewDiePie. How annoying is that guy? It's funny. You, you like PewDiePie? Yes, of course. Jacob, Marcus, you like PewDiePie? Never heard of him. Thank God has you have you still have your innocence. You what have you talking your, about that guy is awesome. He I does, lost like, my innocence. Did you see him when he watched Slender and he played? Slender yeah, I saw that, and it was freaking annoying. Give me scary shit. 
the I, the, 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 it wasn't the a game iPhone first. Like iPhones and stuff. It's like yeah. terrifying. It's, it's even worse than like a normal one because like there's more notes and like he comes faster. Here's the thing. It wasn't even a game first. <laughs> yeah, it was just the creepy pasta and then. No, not creepy pasta. Something off of forums. Which was. It wasn't on the creepypasta. The actual creepypasta site isn't even that old, but I'm talking about it. It's, it's that kind of story. Yeah, it's like that kind supposed... of story. You guys, have you, okay. ever, have you ever thought about actually doing a real life like Cinderman? Like there's notes and you go in the woods and. No, hell no. <laughs> because I'm, ter- I'm absolutely terrified of Slenderman, so. I would I... do it. <clears throat> if there was like one guy who was like in a suit and a mask, that would be a cool game. Heck, that, would, that could be a charity event, like how long you can last. <laughs> That'd be scary as well. How does he get you? <laughs> have nightmares. How? Seriously, after I played the game for the first couple of times, when I would go to sleep, I would open my door to like go to the bathroom, or, like go out in like the morning river, and like his face would like flash in front of me, and I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm holding. Why? <laughs> I'm holding. It's <laughs> like don't look behind you. Don't look behind you. <laughs> Always watches, no eyes. I know, yeah. right? Anyone seen um, oh, what was it? Marble Hornet. No nope. one knows what that is. You guys don't know what the Franco show is. Well, frickin' Franco show is bullshit. Hey! It's okay, got more I'll, views I'll, than us. I know, right? <laughs> That's the worst part. By the hundreds of millions. <laughs> Marcus, I have to ask you a question. What's up? If Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, what kind of storyline are you hoping for? Do you want a more romantic sort of deal between Kairi and Sora? Or would you prefer like a more action, darker oriented story? Kind of what was That's pretty much what they've been doing. Yeah, I know, but like do you want it to like go when I say darker and more like romantic? I mean like rated M. Like not sex necessarily, but like do you want the game to like take that step like past the whole kitty yeah. Disney? I think that would be awesome. More Final Fantasy oriented. And well, here's the thing. Every, every kid that played the game has now grown up. Basically, because Kingdom Hearts 1 came out in 2011. Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2011. 2011. 2001. Okay. I added one too many ones there. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 05. And now it's 13. It's been eight years since we've had a game. A console title, at least. And that's much, much, much too long. And I'm ready for another one. Didn't they do a remake? Yeah, dude, they did tons of, like, little cons- or, uh, handheld yeah. console games. No, they whatever, did a remake, like, I think. Oh, yeah, they did console? recoded and all that. But Yeah, it's, it was just pretty much like a texture update. Yeah, but it's, like I said, I want a new story. I want to... Because the first time you play Kingdom Hearts and you hear Simple and Clean and, like, you play it and you experience the story, it was amazing. But then when you play Kingdom Hearts 2... Uh, it was perfect because, like, the whole backstory to, like, the first part of the game was, like, these three friends on, like, summer vacation, and that was, like, my last summer vacation when I lived in Reno Valley with, like, my homies, and, like, it really sucked, Mobile you know, Bros. Mobile Mobile Bros. Bros. until we die. But it's, like, and it was, like, heartbreaking, like, I love how that game just, like, has kind of interwoven itself with my life, and I don't want it to, you know, not exist anymore, I want Kingdom Hearts 3. I think at this point in time, the only comment on our channel is like one girl, I assume it's a girl, saying, oh my god, he's talked about Kingdom Hearts, he's awesome. Totally. That's the, that should be the title of the video. Like, you know how people do like outrageous titles to get more views? We'll yeah. just be like, oh, Kingdom Hearts rant, uh, lol. If we want to do a Kingdom <laughs> Hearts rant, I'm going to have to play the game first. Oh. Get off. He said I've never you never played Kingdom it. Hearts? Never played it. Get out. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> Wow. I played GTA, I played The Sims. But you haven't played the greatest video game of the last decade. Okay, if it's the greatest video game, it's got a lot to live up to. Kingdom Hearts 1 is good, but when you play 2... It just changes the whole perspective of life. It makes... Dude, like, you know how like when you watch like something like... You saw both of them. Dude, I have, I have one, but my friend has two. I'll, I'll Chris has two. Okay. But he when, lets me borrow When we go game. do, like, one of our marathons, yes, I'll, yes. I'll play it. I'll play it. Man. It's, you know, is, it long in, is it short enough that I can play through it in one sitting? No. It'll take at least two or three. If you don't try to do a lot of the side stuff. But, I mean, when you play through the main story, dude, and the cutscenes and the emotion, the music. The thing about Kingdom Hearts that just gets me every time. Is it one of those like, games that I can just walk or walk? I can just, I can just watch a walkthrough, or do I have to play myself? 
skin. You have to play yourself. Because there's nothing, there's absolutely no way of describing the first time playing the game and hearing the song Sanctuary and watching the open sequence. I mean, when I first watched that, I'll never forget that day, back in 2005. It was November. Why does she setting. have a large piece of paper? Maybe Julia just likes being hot and holding large pieces of paper. She's not my girlfriend or anything. I can talk about other girls around here. I can talk about girls all the time. I'm totally lesbian. Exactly. <laughs> Her and Celeste. Oh god, please don't go there. No. Just like, <laughs> just like freaking Spock and... <laughs> <laughs> Spock and just like... Live long, live long and prosper, and, prosper and then just like, just start reproducing. Man. Live long, prosper, okay. and reproduce. You, like, back on topic. Okay, back on topic. Kingdom Hearts 2 is the greatest video game I've ever played in my entire life. The music, the visuals, the action, the story, the characters. Man. It's like an. You watch anime, right? It's some. Kingdom Hearts is like an anime, the greatest anime ever, put into a video game form that you get to live and play through. That's what it is, essentially. Basically. I've never thought about it that way. Kingdom Hearts 2, or 1 and 2, are animes that you get to play. Uh-oh, shit's gonna go down. Shit's gonna go down. Oh, shit's gonna go down. Oh, oh they're, they're making love. They are, they're, they're reproducing. They are mating. They are mating. They are mating right now. So you have to play Fox! Okay, I guess that's our signing off. One, two, three, that's it, motherfuckers. That was a shit. One, two, three, that's, that's it, motherfuckers! Give me crawlers and fantasies, comfits and fritters and long johns, please. Don't hold back, I all those bed claws now. I need me some yum yums and some cream filled round. You wanna get fancy, I'm right there with you. Let's get some fast knocks and some crook and butcher. If you wanna keep it simple, I'll take a jelly roll. But just don't dare forget about the sprinkles. Holy freaking rape, man. It's okay. Hey, look, there's a person right there. Hi, person. You look nice today, dear person. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We feed her BS on a daily basis. I'll feed you BS. She knows it's BS, but she doesn't care. Faces BS. Hello. That's kind of how we met. Like, she sat in front of me, and, like, we sort of, like, uh, talked, you know, on and off, you know, not really. But, um... I saw, her, I saw her handwriting, and I was like, oh, that's not handwriting, that's calligraphy. I, like, I told her, I was like, you write beautifully. She's like, oh, thank you. And I was like, oh, your voice is so interesting. She was like, what? I was like, laugh again. And she laughed, and I was like, I'm enamored with you. Who is this? My friend Paulina. Who is this? Who? Like, oh. <laughs> my feelings. <laughs> this episode, this whole episode of shit, I don't like this episode. It was. I'm you know sorry, what? I was distracted. But you know what? I'm not calling this an episode. Mo what? I said Mo what? Fuck what? Up, really? <laughs> I, I don't know. I said Mo what? Mo what? Mo Val. Oh. I said Mo what? Mo what? I did not understand that at all. I didn't even know that. Ow! If you want some Reno Val at any length of time, yeah, you, you have to. Holy like shit. It's broke. It's okay. She it's broke the it's chair. Okay. <laughs> She has broken. Like how? how? <laughs> <laughs> She's broken. Okay, bloopers, bloopers, for days.